The Tesla brand in the car industry is often compared to other luxurious car brands like Mercedes-Benz, Audi, and BMW. Tesla has done a great job of creating a brand that is well-respected and holds itself to a high standard. Over the past couple weeks, I have gotten a ton of comments saying that they could never afford a Tesla, that they're a loser and they'll never be able to buy one, and other negative comments just like these. So today, I want to address these comments and also my thoughts behind what I'm calling the Tesla mindset. I want to just start this video off with a disclaimer saying that I am not a financial advisor and that this video should be used for entertainment purposes only. Now let's just address this. I definitely do not think that money is the key to happiness. And I don't think that you have to make a certain amount of money in order to be happy. So if you are content with your financial situation currently, then this video is not for you. But clearly the people in the comments saying that they wish they could afford one but never could are not financially content. I am a firm believer in believing is achieving. I have practiced manifesting ever since I was little. I can remember back to elementary elementary school when I was thinking about what it would look like when I was financially free in the future. Now that definitely looks different to a 10 year old, but you get the gist. It's important for you to understand your goals and hold yourself accountable for hitting these goals. The things that you believe are true. So if you are not thinking that you're going to be able to afford a Tesla in the future, then chances are you won't be able to because you put up a mental block thinking that you can't achieve something, so then you're already preconceiving the idea that you cannot do it. The key to being able to do something is believing that you can. So for people saying, I can never afford a Tesla, you're putting into the universe that you can never afford one, and therefore believing it yourself when you're writing it. So instead of writing that, maybe say, I can't afford a Tesla right now, but in the future, I will be able to. So then you're putting into the universe that at this point in my life, I'm not quite there yet, but you're giving yourself the notion that you can in the future. So you're working towards something. And just by you writing something down like this, acknowledging the fact that you can do it is just totally beneficial to your overall mind state. The one thing that I see consistent in these negative comments is making the comments sound like not being able to afford something is not their choice. We all make choices each and every day that have accumulated to the place that we are today. Yes, some people have more opportunity than others. Yes, some people's path to success is shorter. But the one thing that we all have in common is the fact that success lies in our own hands. The minute that you think your success is dependent on another human being is the minute that you have lost. No one can control your success but you. Blame is what's holding you back and what's making you forget that you dropped the ball, that you didn't show up. But blame is also what's holding you back from where you want to go. There will always be pitfalls in life. We will never always win. But winners take those losses, learn from them, and try again. Winners show up. Winners are confident enough to say that they lost. If you're sitting there listening to this, thinking that your life is out of your control, today is the day to take responsibility for your goals and for your future. Today is the day to take full responsibility of who you are now, where you're at now, but also where you're going to be in five years or 10 years. Winning doesn't mean buying a Tesla. Winning means feeling happy with yourself and being financially content. I also want to make it clear that success does not directly correlate with things. Yes, I have a Tesla, but no, that doesn't make me successful. Success is all about the impact you have on your family and your community, but also looks different for everyone. Success to me is having the flexibility in my day in order to be able to spend time with my family and also hopefully help one of you through my videos. It's important to define what success looks like to you so that you can create a path towards it. If you are just starting your success journey today, here is my advice. Number one, be consistent. Success will not come overnight, and if you're knocked down, you will need to get right back up and try again. Consistency is key in every aspect of your life, in your business, in your relationships, and in your mindset. There is no losing, just an obstacle you need to overcome. Staying consistent will also give you more chances to win. The more shots you take, the more opportunities you have for a home run. 
don't stop and hold yourself accountable for your deadlines and decisions. Number two, be positive. It's important to have a positive mind space when starting a project. Otherwise, if you're already thinking that you're going to fail from the start, more than likely you will because you put up a mental block saying that you will. It's hard to be positive all the time. I get mean comments on my YouTube channel each and every day, and sometimes it's really hard to keep moving forward, but it's important to keep a positive mind space because these people who are sending you the mean comments or the mean advice are people who are usually not happy with who they are and where they are in life. So keep your head down, stay positive throughout all of the adversity. Number three, continue to learn. Reading and learning new, about new topics can help you grow as an individual. It's important to be a forever student or someone who just keeps learning and growing throughout their lifetime. If you are just starting your success journey now, I suggest reading The five, Four Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss and also Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Both of these books are great to start out with because they get you in a positive mindset and get you excited about whatever you're about to work on. If you need a hype book, these are definitely it. I will link them both down below in case you're interested. Number four, write down your goals. This is the first step in manifesting your life. You want to write these goals down, hang them up, and tell them to someone. If you're able to tell them to someone, then you're going to be held accountable for what you told someone that you were going to do. It's important to define your goals in order to understand what steps to take in order to achieve them. No one just stumbles upon their goals. They take calculated steps in order to achieve them. Malcolm Gladwell says that you need 10,000 hours of something in order to be a master at it. You just don't stumble upon doing 10,000 hours of something other than maybe sleeping. The Tesla mindset is staying consistent, positive, continuing to learn, and acknowledging goals. Be aware of your mindset because this has a much bigger impact on your success than you may think. Tesla shook up the automobile industry with their innovation and perseverance. You too can make an impact in your endeavors. Today is the day to take control of your financial journey. I'm going to be posting more finance content over the next few weeks, so you'll definitely want to stay tuned if you're interested in learning more. Also, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on these videos. If you found this video inspirational or helpful at all, please give me a like down below as that really helps out my channel. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.